Hey guys, this is Evie from an expat in Panama. Quite often I've been asked, is Panama a safe country to travel to? Especially as a single woman, is it okay to walk around at night? Can I go out by myself? Should I be worried about my stuff in the hotels and things like that? Um, your environment is as safe as you make it for yourself. First of all, you have to know that Panama as a country is one of the safest countries in Latin America. Obviously Panama has crime, just like any other country. Just be aware of your surroundings. Act smart, don't trust people you don't know, it's something you wouldn't do anywhere, so it's not any different on vacation. For example, it's not a good idea to go get some cash at the ATM in a dark little street in the middle of the night. Obviously you don't do that, right? Or you wouldn't cross a park at the middle of the night by yourself. So those are common sense things that everyone knows not to do. and why should it be any different when you travel? It's not. Unfortunately, I noticed that a lot of travelers forget all their common sense once they get here. They see the sun, they see the palm trees, they think it's okay now to walk barefoot, everyone's nice because you're on vacation and nothing will happen to you. Well, guess what? Shit happens everywhere. Don't trust strangers with money, with your belongings. Um, if someone comes up to you and offers you help, you know, directions or offers to take you somewhere and you think it's weird, trust your instinct. But it's just like anywhere else in the world. So don't walk around like this one, for example. This is one that I really don't know how to explain because the first thing you learn as a kid um, is don't talk to strangers, right? That's the first thing your parents teach you. So what makes you think that hitchhiking is a good idea. If you shouldn't talk to strangers, what makes you think that stepping into a stranger's car is a great idea? I don't get it. Hi, I'm so cheap, I don't want to spend two dollars for a taxi. Can I go with you for free? <laughs> yeah, right. I am a psychopath and I will kidnap you. Is that okay? Said no psychopath ever. So please guys, come on, don't be cheap. Pay two dollars for a taxi, at least you know you'll reach your destination. Now I'm not saying that every random person that will pick you up <laughs> is gonna be a psychopath. Obviously there's a lot of nice people. I'm not one of them, I wouldn't stop for you if you were hitchhiking, I don't care if you're a girl or a guy. Um, just don't do it, okay? So we talked about being aware of your surroundings and that means everywhere. Not just at the ATM. beach and you have your phone with you, your camera with you, your nice purse with you, your backpack with, I don't know, your tablet, your GoPro and whatnot, whatever people travel with nowadays. Don't leave it unattended on the beach to go swimming. It's not safe, okay? There's always thieves that will seize the opportunity seeing a bag that is abandoned to go snatch it. Again, I'm not saying that if you go to the beach you will get robbed. I'm just saying watch out don't act dumb basically and the last thing and um, advice I want to give you guys is if you're gonna walk around try not to walk around with a big sign that says tourist on your forehead oh honey come look this must be where the poor people live try to blend in now obviously people are gonna know that you're from another country you know physically they're gonna make the distinction but that doesn't mean that you have to walk around you know with the Indiana Jones attire like some people like to do with the big socks that go up to the knees and, and the shorts and the the hat and whatever whatever screams tourists from far away please don't do that 
again i'm not saying that people will come and uh, try to mug you in the street i'm not saying that at all people here are very nice but why would you want to draw attention to yourself unnecessarily okay i know we live in the jungle but as you can see i'm wearing regular clothes i I don't, I don't dress like Indiana Jones. If you really have to bring your camera, keep it in your bag. You don't need to walk around with a big camera around your neck. Um, you don't need to come with your expensive purse. You don't need to walk around with your Rolex and your jewelry and whatnot. Okay? These are all things um, that show wealth and that show that basically you don't really know what you're doing. So, But again, be smart. Don't be stupid. It's not because you're on vacation that things get all of a sudden all rosy. Those are the main things that I wanted to mention for you to watch out. Again, Panama is a very safe place to travel to, even as a single woman, no problem whatsoever. Stay aware, like Van Damme would say. Be aware. If you've enjoyed it, like it, share the video, and I'll see you soon for the next one.